Okay guys, so here's the latest progress of my shop and with me here is Tim hey. from Misata Creative and he is going to walk us through the progress of the uh, of the Renault. So as I mentioned before in my, one of my previous videos, Tim and me go back a long way. Like his, his missus and me were friends from college and and now we have been good friends. Now we always exchange parenting notes. Like our yeah. kids are actually of the same age one. Correct. Alright. So right. uh yeah, so I'm very happy to have him on board to be my my ID consultant. Tim has a very, very well uh as well established portfolio of clients. You want to name some of your clients? Uh yeah, yeah. Thanks, Con. Uh. Some of our clients are like um Guy Grocer, mm. we've worked with uh, the likes of uh, Sime Darby. Mm. Mm. Uh, we've also been, we're now doing projects for developers like Param uh, mm. Paramount Properties as well. Nice, nice. Just to name a few, uh, and of course smaller brands uh, like Zara or Terra and stuff like that. Uh. But Tim, uh, you yeah. say your, your, your company tagline right, is design profitable spaces. Yeah. What is the thinking behind behind designing a profitable space? I mean, in general, the philosophy. Uh, I I think if you if you look at the philosophy of designing profitable spaces, mm. uh, every retail business is is ultimately it's a business. Correct. So when when you talk about um, sort of like as a business, mm. you gotta you gotta be thinking about things like return on investment. Correct. So whatever you put in into the let's say the design of the space mm. or the construction of the space. It's got to be feasible that you can recover it within the terms of your rental. Right. And right. most of the time, uh, for most of the projects I deal with, mm. which are in shopping malls, mm. the term is three years. Ah. So, so if you're gonna if you're gonna spend a million dollars on a space, yeah. you got to make sure that you can recover that amount and make some money. Correct. Over that three year period. Correct. Correct. Yeah? Correct. So that's why that's where the term for our company, designing profitable mm. spaces, came from. Mm. We want to make sure that when we work with clients. Mm. Uh, we're, we're anticipating that the design is mm. yes it's important mm. but we also want to make sure we don't go too overboard with it mm. to the point where it becomes a liability or difficult for the owner to get back their return on investment yeah okay so come let's show yeah my viewers how are you going to design space profitable okay. <laughs> so so one of the key things you can see from the space is uh, when we came in, yeah. we, are, we are basically reusing a lot of the structures Correct. that we can. Correct. Uh, so that's one of the aspects. Yeah. Secondly, we are going also very industrial mm, mm. to make sure that the space is... Uh, we don't have to put too much in terms of renovation to it. Yeah. So that's the look and feel. Correct. Uh, and I think, very simply, it's a, it's a lot of things like... Uh, it, instead of... Uh, you can pan here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, instead of doing a full brick wall, yeah. you can yeah. actually... Full brick wall. Instead of a full brick wall ceiling height, from here on, we're gonna use something called sand ply, yeah. so that we kind of reduce the cost as well. All right. Mm. Uh, and uh, being very, uh, I mean, very uh, conscious of the client's budget. In this case, mm. Con's budget. Mm. Uh, we of course have to sort of cut down the the, the budget a little bit right. because the cost of steel is really expensive right now. Oh, it's right crazy, now. man! Yeah. So it's crazy. So many yeah. people are telling me about about you know raw material prices, labor right. prices. It's crazy. So we sort of have to. Sometimes in the case of like this, we have to trim down the budget mm. a little bit mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, we sort of want to extend, maybe we'll do it as a phase two kind of upgrade. All right, all right. Uh, so those are just some of the ways you, you kind of want to make sure that you don't owe overboard on the budget yeah. and uh, we want to make the business something that, that is uh, it's possible to start making money for right. anyone. And and this is something that I, that I mentioned to Tim many a times uh, in when we were discussing about the layout, what to put in, what to put in later. Uh, a lot of emphasis that I've put in is to ensure that this place is uh, is ready for future expansion. So today, you know, I start, I, I'm starting, right? I, there, are, there are certain things that I'm putting in, but I tell the contractor, okay, this example, this is where I'm putting my water tanks, okay? But please leave a space so that in the future, I can add water pumps. Over there, I can add additional tanks as well, all right? As I grow, I love the business as the cash flow becomes stronger. I can reinvest yeah. more of my my earnings back into this shop so that you know uh, so that workers have a better working environment. Customers bring the car in; they have a, they, they can trust that their cars are being worked on in a very positive, very conducive space. All right. Yeah. All right. So, so it's all about at the end of the day as a design. Yes, design is important. Mm. Our role is to make sure that the place looks good enough mm. to attract the customers. Mm. But ultimately, it's a lot about how Con runs his business as well. Yeah. And we want to give him the best foot forward. Yes. You know, when yes. we talk about designing the space. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. 
Okay, so uh, Tim, thank you so much. Thanks. Uh, we'll catch up again, all right, later when Absolutely. the shop is closer to readiness. We'll catch up again and uh, yeah, and, and show you guys more about yeah. this place. Can't, really can't wait to start and, uh, and look, look forward to welcome you guys here. Okay, yeah. okay guys, so now that we have excused Tim, let me just show you, uh, well, a bit more of the current progress. So that's the brick wall. Okay, these are the plaster boards that will go on top there. Uh, this metal structures here, this is for the ceiling. All right, and uh, there is where I'll be putting my water tanks. So this used to be the office area. Now, uh, previously the office area had extended up to here, but uh, we have chosen to cut off this spot. So uh, the door, okay, so this, this whole, this room here, this waiting room here, which, which is where uh, well, where my office will be based, there's also a customer lounge where you guys can In the future, if you guys come and patronize, you can come down here Sit down and chit chat with me, assuming that, you know Assuming that I'm not out here washing your car lah. Okay, so uh, at the back here Okay, so this space is where, will be uh, uh, my utility space I'll have a sink here to do some washing works Alright, and uh, you can see over there, we have done the drainage as well So drainage man drain management is very important it is to ensure that you know because car wash ma right sure a lot of water will flow on so the we have to ensure that the water is channeled properly to the side of the shop and you know and is channeled to the drainage that uh, that is prepared by the landlord okay so uh, as you can see also we have also marked out the locations of the power sockets of the tap this is going to be higher like, I'm going to put the tap higher okay and uh, yeah so uh, as of now, as of today, uh, 19th of November, I've been told, uh, well, maybe about one and a half weeks that the shop, before the shop is handed back to me. And uh, we'll need another two weeks after that for my friends from Symphony Auto Care to come and set up all the equipment, stock me up with the products. And, uh, and hopefully after that, you know, get the manpower in and we can start business. Okay guys, so uh, really excited, uh, can't wait to start business and uh, yeah, looking forward to welcome you guys to the shop. Uh, if you know of anybody who is interested or if you yourself are interested to join my team, drop me a line, con at evomalaysia.com uh, and uh, we can talk further, okay? So take care guys, stay safe, I'll see you in the next video.